Hey everyone, this is James from Brewing Books. Today I have this lovely little box set to show you. So, published by HarperCollins in 2015, the Tolkien Treasury, as it is referred to, is a set of four pocket edition books written by J.R.R. Tolkien, and these include The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, Farmer Giles of Ham, Roverandom, and Smith of Wooton Major. Now, this was actually marketed as a deluxe box set, and I will show you why in a minute, but it's not to be confused with the Middle Earth Treasury, which was a similar pocket box set published by HarperCollins back in 2017. That particular set included The Hobbit and the three-volume edition of The Lord of the Rings. Immediately striking with this box set is Pauline Bain's stunning and colorful illustrations all around the box here and also on each book's dust jacket. There are also several illustrations inside the books as well, so this is an absolutely comprehensive set right here. So let's pull out the first book and have a closer look at The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. Readers of the Middle Earth stories will surely be familiar with the titular character, who in fact features in two of the 16 poems found here. The rest of the poems feature fairy tale rhyme, verses on mythical creatures, and others, and they are all part of the Middle Earth legendarium, in one way or another. The idea behind this book, actually, which was published almost a decade after The Lord of the Rings, is similar to the latter, presenting itself as a translation from the Red Book of West March, whereby the poems are associated with Hobbit folklore hinting that some poems have supposedly been written by hobbits themselves. What's particularly interesting about this edition and this box set is what has been marketed as an extended edition. In fact, the editorial input of noted scholars Wayne G. Hammond and Christina Scal provide us with a comprehensive look into the creation of these poems, by adding earlier versions of many of these works, along with textual notes. Included in this book is also another so-called Bombadil poem, entitled Once Upon a Time. There's also the complete fragment of a prose story featuring Tom Bombadil, and other such gems. This additional material, however, is only available in this particular edition, as far as I'm aware. Suffice to say, this book is an utter delight and a definitive companion to Middle-earth. Any reader still craving for more of that world should dip into this book's magical qualities, not only to appreciate Tolkien's poetic craft, but also the sheer amount of additional information, especially with this edition that further expands on Tolkien's world. Besides, Pauline Bain's mastery of illustration complements all of this. She was, after all, Tolkien's chosen illustrator for many of his books. Now, it must be said to anyone who is interested in this collection that the three other volumes included in this box set are not related in any way to the Middle-earth legendarium. They are stories beyond Tolkien's better-known fantasy world, but are nonetheless a treasure in their own right, which after all enables avid readers to learn more about the author's extensive repertoire at crafting stories. One of these, in fact, is the delightful story of Farmer Giles of Ham, an unlikely hero living a comfortable life until a blundering giant stumbles upon his land. With elements of quests, adventures, knights, treasures, and yes, even a dragon, anyone already in love with Middle-earth will surely come back to read and reread this story. And as with the adventures of Tom Bombadil, this work is presented in this gorgeous pocket version that sits perfectly alongside its other companions in the set. This next work by Tolkien demonstrates the man's incredible imagination at creating worlds. Roverandom is the story of a dog who is transformed into a toy, and among its many adventures, a fantastical trip to the wonders of the moon takes place. It has its fair share of charm and appeal, but personally, I don't feel like this is the best from this collection. And while certain moments of the story fall a bit flat and the writing feels somewhat subpar from the rest, 
there's still an intriguing adventure ready to greet readers. Next up, we have the fourth and final book in this set, entitled Smith of Wooton Major. Now, ever since I read the story for the first time, quite a while back, years ago actually, I was struck by a strong sense of nostalgia that seems to emanate from its pages, and it's difficult to understand where it comes from. The tale recounts a traditional festival that takes place in the village of Wooton Major, and the creation of a great cake made by master cooks. It is a story in which Tolkien attempts to define and explain the concept of fairy, an element that is at the core of many of his stories, especially the Lord of the Rings. The narrative flows from one set piece to the next and is an utter joy to read. Once again, as with the adventures of Tom Bombadil, this edition of Smith of Wooton Major includes the extended version, which adds editorial notes and commentary by Tolkien scholar Verlin Flieger. Furthermore, essays, a time scheme, facsimiles of manuscripts and typescripts of earlier versions of this story are also included. So overall, this set is an absolute must-have. Keep in mind that all these books have already been published one way or another, either as individual editions or under the Tales from the Perilous Realm collection. Having said this, the term pocketbook is quite rightly justified in this case. As you can perhaps tell, the size of the books is rather small, along with the text. However, I must say that legibility isn't an issue, in my case at least. And although hard covers, the relatively small size of each book does not deter from the reading experience. Naturally, the font size is what it is, but overall this set is very practical to use. You can literally pick out one of these books and carry them with you. It's a fantastic set with excellent print quality on the slightly thick coarse paper and set in this beautiful presentation. So this is the Tolkien treasury in all its glory. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!